using my and myraon. Sentences with the words my or myraon point to the existence or possession of things. Although both can mean there is or there are and has or have, the two words cannot be used interchangeably. How to use my. My is followed immediately by a noun to show possession or existence. My sentences often do not explicitly mention the possessor. Ako ay may kaibigan sa Quezon City. May kaibigan ako sa Quezon City. I have a friend in Quezon City. Kami ay may bahay sa Maynila. May bahay kami sa Maynila. We have a house in Manila. May tao sa labas. There is someone outside. Two. May is followed immediately by an adjective or numeral in either type of word order sentence to indicate possession or existence. Si ay may magandang bahay. He or she has a nice house. May dalawang aso sa kulungan. There are two dogs in the cage. Three. When referring to more than one thing in possession or in existence, may is followed immediately by mga, then the noun. May mga punong kahoy sila. They have trees. May mga tao sa labas. There are men outside. Four. May is followed immediately by a verb to indicate the existence of someone or something. May natutulog na tao sa silid. There is a person sleeping in the room. How to use mayroon? One. Mayroon is followed by monosyllabic words like ka, na, nang, pa, ba, din, and dao with ligatures properly attached to the monosyllabic words. Mayroon may be shortened to meron. Mayroon pang trabaho si Lucio. Lucio still has a job. Meron ka bang bagong aklat? Do you have a new book? Two. Mayroon is followed by a personal pronoun, such as ako, ka, tayo, kami, kayo and sila, in inverted sentences to indicate possession. The suffix ligature nang is attached to these pronouns. May bahay kami sa Maynila. We have a house in Manila. Mayroon kaming bahay sa Maynila. 3. Mayroon alone may answer a question. The word oo or yes at the start of a sentence, as well as the noun or pronoun after mayroon, is optional. May bagong sapatos ba si Bob? Mayroon. Or, oo, mayroon siya. Does Bob have a new pair of shoes? Yes, he has. 3. How to use wala. Wala means none and negates the existence or possession of a thing. 1. Wala is usually found at the beginning of a sentence and is followed by a possessive pronoun or a monosyllabic word with a suffix ligature nang. Wala akong kaibigan sa Quezon. I do not have a friend in Quezon. Wala silang mga punong kahoy. They do not have trees. Wala pang bagong aklat. There is no new book yet. Wala nang trabaho si Lucio. Lucio does not have a job now. 2. Wala, with the suffix ligature nang, is used before numerals or adjectives, nouns, the article mga, and verbs. Walang dalawang aso sa kulungan. There are no two dogs in the cage. Walang tao sa labas. There is no one outside. Walang mga tao sa labas. There are no men outside. Walang natutulog na tao sa silid. No one is sleeping in the room. 3. Wala, by itself, is a negative response to a question using may or mayroon and means none. Wala also changes a positive question into a negative one. May bagong sapatos ba si Bob? 
Does Bob have a new pair of shoes? Wala. None. May kotse ba sila? Do they have a car? Wala. None. Mayroon ka bang pagkain? Do you have food? Wala ka bang pagkain? Don't you have food?